A second law enforcement agency in Washington has announced it will not actively enforce the state's newest gun law. After the Town of Republic's police force announced it won't go after anyone in violation of Initiative 1639, the Lewis County Sheriff's Office tweeted that it too will follow suit. iFiber One News wanted to gauge where local law enforcement leaders stand and reached out to Moses Lake Police Chief Kevin Fuhr. Do you think what uh, police chief is doing over there is irresponsible as a law enforcement official? I, I wouldn't say irresponsible, but I but I'd go back to what I just said, and that is, is we have a duty to uphold the law, whether we like it or not. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, the citizens of the state voted that initiative initiative in, and we have a duty to follow the the citizenry of this state. And so that's that's what we're doing. I-1639 raises the purchase age of semi-automatic rifles to 21, incentivizes safe storage, and creates enhanced background checks for rifles. <laughs> The initiative also authorizes the state to require gun sellers to add $25 to sales of semi-automatic rifles to pay for new regulations. Many of Fuhrer's counterparts across the state think the new regulation is too encompassing, which is why we asked whether he felt I-1639 was a fair law. Do you think Initiative 1639 is a fair law? There are definitely some issues with this law. Um, uh, we talk about banning um, 18 to 21 year olds from from owning semi-automatic weapons, yet we ask them to go in the military when they're 18 and use those same tools in the military. Um, that I think uh, is a disservice to those young men and women, um, especially those that are serving our country and use that tool in, our, in that. Um, I also am not a fan of uh, locking your guns up. Now, as a responsible gun owner, you, you are responsible for that gun that you own, and you should uh, take the precautions you can to make sure that that gun is secure and not doesn't get in the hands of, of kids or somebody that it shouldn't be in the hands of. However, taking away a person's right to protect themselves um, over the possibility that somebody maybe gets in and grabs your gun, um, I have some, some issues with that. Fear says his department is concerned that the new law will cause a major jam in background checks, costing the department more money, and delayed approvals. I'm Sean Goggins for iFiber One News.